In this case, what they placed on this house was too much. The building collapsed. Corey Hatter noticed something was off when she got home from work Tuesday. In this video, I'm gonna go over seven very expensive roofing mistakes and how to avoid them. Roofing jobs are already expensive. We're talking about 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars, but mistakes can be even pricier. Mistake number one is the wrong color. It happened to me a few times in my career. Uh, I remember one time supplier sent the wrong color. Sometime the homeowner might pick the color based on uh, small charts, small samples in front of them. And when the color goes on the roof, might not like it at the end. And sometimes it's work order. It's sales rep or business owner who plays the material order, delivers, uh, you know, placed order for the wrong material. Very, very expensive. How to avoid it? Make sure you triple check the contract. If you're the homeowner, make sure you understand the visuals. You talk to your sales rep and you know what you're getting. Also, on the day of install, if you're the business owner, always double check that materials that have been delivered are the same as in the work order because the crew rarely knows what they're installing. What's delivered, that's what's gonna go on the roof. Mistake number two, wrong house. Happens all the time to the best of us. How to avoid it, to be honest with you, I don't know because the crew will often be sent to the job. They see materials um, on the driveway and they will install. I just drove up and my house just looked different. And I kind of just looked and was like, what is going on? Realized it was my shingles that were missing. Obviously the safest way to avoid it is to have superintendent on the job. Unfortunately in the roofing industry, not many companies do have superintendents or managers on the job and companies simply subcontract the work, they send the crews the address and when the crew arrives, they usually will go to the house with materials in front of it. So sometimes it's neighbor right next to it. Again, it happens all the time. You just wanna make sure that you have paperwork in order and you have someone managing jobs who will double check everything. Mistake number three is very nasty one. It's manufacturer defects, discolorations. It happens all the time. Sometimes manufacturers don't have consistency in the products, especially when we're talking about asphalt shingles and the crew, when they're installing the shingles, rarely can see different shades. So if the shingles have color discoloration, you will see kind of staggering, you know, different badges. It look ugly from the ground. You can clearly see that some bundles are, have lighter or darker shades. Manufacturers, unfortunately, oftentimes will play the game. Well, let's see what will happen later. So how to avoid it? Well, number one is work with asphalt shingle manufacturers who are excellent in their claims, in their warranties, who's not gonna give you a run around and say, well, let's see, let's wait a couple of years how it performs. It'll, if it will fade away because you're paying top dollar for your roof and it has to be consistent. So manufacturer defects do happen a lot uh, with the colors and unfortunately, you will have to go through claim process to make it right. Mistake number four, not to code installations. We recently paid out $13,500 to Bay Roofing Company in New Jersey. They were fixing the job that uh, our recommend, recommended contractor did not do right. What went wrong was not to code installation in New Jersey. They have a low slope roofing. They were not supposed to be shingling over it. They were supposed to be using different material. They also have installed wrong type of skylight. There's two different types, low slope skylight and regular skylight. Sometimes 
those little things you have to use common sense sometimes it's a code sometimes it's lack of knowledge but roofers do make mistakes if your roofer does not know the local code he will have to redo job later and sometimes they don't have financial capacity to do uh, the job start over so you will be stuck with a bill because not every roofer can afford to spend ten twenty thousand dollars on a brand new job again mistake number five happens a lot with the chucks and the trucks don't have capacity to finish the job i see it all the time because we receive a lot of complaints on the contractors usually goes like this you pay contractor down payment he started a job he promised you that he's gonna do it within a day or two and then job drags three four weeks obviously if you have rains if you have winds you might have leaks uh, the mistake is hiring their own contractor and it's an actual contractor mistake because he does not know how to manage his time he's spreading too thin between the jobs roofing jobs should be in and out as fast as possible it's not your typical remodeling we're not talking about painting or uh, changing floors if you did not start and finish as soon as possible you're exposing that roof for potential issues with the weather i'm talking about mold issues rain wind the roof should not be exposed to elements for a long time and two three weeks is a long time so make sure you hire a crew who can get it in and out as fast as possible mistake number six or mistakes number six i will just classify them as a fall protection safety failures happens all the time if your roofer is not careful if business owner or crew leader does not care about safety of his employees of his subcontractors of his roofers accidents will happen sometimes people get injured sometimes other people around the jobs might get injured i'm not only talking about safety of the roofers themselves but you know when they throw in shingles they might hit person on the ground or animal your dogs i mean different types of accident might occur when you are throwing materials from the roofs you can destroy flowers you can destroy decking you can destroy uh, something very expensive recently i heard a story from a roofer who destroyed very very expensive vase it meant a lot to the homeowners i think it was from italy uh, the piece was priceless no matter how much money a contractor would offer to, to the homeowner they would not settle because again it meant a lot to them and the roofers destroyed it and threw it in a, a dumpster to hide it later uh, hide their mistake so make sure your roofer knows how to protect your possessions around the house how to protect your deck your flowers your hvac unit whatever you have around the house might be destroyed during your roofing job and the last one on my list today is delivery mistakes happens all the time when we deliver you know tons of shingles to the job we can crack driveways we can crack trusses uh, whoever is doing delivery usually it's a supply company have to have a good knowledge of weight distribution if you google uh, these problems you will see the stories happens all the time what takes place here is boom truck driver will try to put a um, couple pellets of materials on the roof what should take place is roofers equally distributing weight across that roof but oftentimes roofer is not there or roofer doesn't don't know what he is doing and i've seen it way too many times more than it should have happened where delivery driver literally drops a pallet on the roof and then roof caves in everything goes down destroys the trusses sometimes it's not visible at the time of installation but those trusses will crack i mean we're talking about two by fours with uh 50 60 bundles shingles on top of them each bundle weight about 70 pounds everybody have to be cautious definitely one of the top roofing mistakes uh, related to roofing jobs and uh, one of the most expensive ones too comment below what did i miss if you're in the roofing business and you've made one of these mistakes i want to hear from you share the story 
and the lesson you learned from it so others might avoid this mistake. Give it a like if you like this content. I'll see you guys in the next video.